Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the uh, capacitance of your guitar cables and the effect that that has on what you perceive to be the resonant frequency of the pickups. Now, uh, capacitance is the ability to store an electric charge, put very simply. The resonant peak of your pickups is basically the, the frequency that your pickups are going to have the highest output at. Now this is a really good way to judge the characteristics of a guitar pickup. A lot of people talk about the resistance of a guitar pickup, uh, which can tell you some things about, about the pickup, but it's, it's definitely far from the whole story. So uh, since I have dived into the uh, pickup making biz, I have been looking very heavily into what things change the resonant frequency of a pickup. Uh, that way I can kind of tune how I want that pickup to sound. Um, so, uh, in this video, uh, what I've done is I've taken four cables uh, that all have different capacitance. Now, one cable is a one foot sound flex cable. That's kind of my gold standard because the idea behind a one foot cable is because it's such a short cable, it's going to have very low capacitance. Uh, I also have a no-name generic uh, cable uh, and a Planet Waves cable and a low capacitance uh, GAC1 Ultra Pro cable. Uh, and actually that one has the highest capacitance because it's a, a lot longer length than the rest. Uh, but what we're going to be looking at is just what the, what the capacitance level is of each of those cables as well as what the resonant peak is uh, when measured um, giving this contraption that I, I put together. Now, this is a relative test uh, because how I'm reading the cable capacitance, um, or the, sorry, the, rather the resonant frequency of each pickup, is going to be affected by several things. It's going to be affected by the value of the potentiometer in the guitar. Um, it's going to be affected by my, you know, the input resistance of my, of my uh, audio interface. So this is a relative test, but I'm going to be keeping everything consistent, um, just changing the cables. Uh, and I'm actually going to be using for this test uh, a, a pickup that I built. Um, so this should be a pretty good idea of, of, you know, what the different cables are doing to your sound. Now, the, the, the higher the resonant frequency, the brighter a pickup is going to sound. So a single coil pickup is typically going to have a much higher resonant uh, peak than, resonant frequency rather, than, uh, than a humbucker will. Thus, obviously, humbuckers typically sound a little bit darker than a single coil does, um, and that's why. So in this uh, video, what I'm assuming is, is going to happen is each, each cable, the higher the capacitance, uh, the lower the resonant frequency is going to be of that pickup. Uh, now there's also some other things about these, these uh, cables that vary, such as the gauge and things like that. So uh, the output might be a little bit different, uh, but it should give us an idea just looking at, at the frequency what we're dealing with. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen. Here is a picture of the resonant frequencies that I've done uh, for each of these cables. And again, this is keeping everything else consistent. Uh, so as we can see, it does indeed look like the more capacitance of a cable means slightly lower uh, resonant frequency. Now, as you can see, it's not a huge difference, but there is definitely a difference. So the question that I had was, well, how big of a difference does this make to the ear? Can you hear it? Uh, is it enough that it could be bothersome or detrimental to your tone. Now, we're gonna go ahead and listen to some audio that I recorded while doing this test to see if we can hear the difference. Now, when I was doing this, I, I realized it's not a great way to record guitar because I was recording direct in and I did not have a buffer pedal in line. Now, 
I'm not going to go into the details of a buffer pedal, and to be honest, I don't know exactly how a buffer pedal works in its entirety. Um, I'm not an electrical engineer. But to put it simply, a buffer pedal basically helps maintain your guitar's signal uh, until it reaches you know, the amplifier, or in this case, um, my audio interface. So what I've done is I have thrown that into the mix and got an idea of, of what uh, effect a buffer pedal has on the resonant frequency of the pickup. Now, as you can see from this picture, it's a pretty big difference. Um, it's definitely enough that I would say for sure it's going to be audible. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and listen to those comparisons and see what we can and can't hear as the difference. Alright, so you could definitely hear a difference when that buffer pedal was in line. Uh, I couldn't really hear a difference that much in, the, in just the cables being different. Um, now, in these tests, uh, obviously I was, I was basically to, saving, to save time, I just showed you the, ex the two cables with the most extreme difference. Uh, and even still, I couldn't really tell a big difference. It's, it's, you know, audio is a silly thing because it's kind of easy to sometimes tell yourself that you hear a difference in something and really there's not a big difference. But I couldn't hear a big one. Uh, let me know in the comments if you thought that you could hear a difference. Now we're going to go ahead and take a listen to what it sounds like through an amp. So I'm going to be playing through an Ignator Tweaker 15 and again going to keep all the settings the same and we're going to look at the difference between two cables. Now, I'm not going to be using a one foot cable uh, for this test because I don't want to look like an idiot standing with my guitar right up to the, uh, to the uh, amp head, but um, I'm going to take the two cables that have the, the next uh, largest difference in capacitance and see if we can hear a difference. Then I'm going to go ahead and throw a buffer pedal in the mix and see if we can hear a difference. All right, for this first test, I'm going to be using uh, the cable with the highest capacitance. I'll go ahead and put the capacitance value on the screen. Um, so this is just clean, and we're going to see how it looks, and then we'll go back and do a comparison uh, with some distortion as well. definitely think I can hear a difference on that one, um, even without having listened to it yet. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and throw some distortion on and see if we can hear a difference with some distortion. All right, we're going to go ahead and give this a listen with some distortion on. And this distortion is all going to be done on the amp head itself. I'm not using any pedals for distortion because that would kind of defeat the purpose. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try this with the highest capacitance cable first. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so that finishes up the audio test. I think I could hear a little bit of a difference between the one foot cable and the uh, longer cable with the most capacitance. Um, obviously you can't really play or you certainly can't do a show with a one foot cable. People might kind of think you're a little bit goofy. Um, but, uh, or you're just really hardcore about your sound, I guess. Uh, but the buffer pedal definitely made a huge difference. I, I could absolutely hear a difference there, no doubt. So I would say uh, it's probably worth having a buffer pedal in your signal chain um, at some point. Um, I know that there's a lot of different theories about where the best place to put it is and things like that. So do whatever's right for you. But I definitely think it's worth having one uh, just in general certainly made a huge difference going direct in uh, on my audio interface. Th that's a night and day difference. When you're talking about recording guitar direct in, if you're using any plugins, uh, I would almost say it's a necessity just to get the guitar to feel as lively uh, as it does to your ear when you're playing through an amp. So anyway, uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And again, I'm doing a pickup giveaway. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I've been busily uh, kind of figuring out the arrangement of pickups that I want to offer for sale. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video and are interested at uh, hearing some more, then hit subscribe and uh, leave your comments below on what you thought of the results of this test. Thanks for watching.